Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am going to sit here and chat with you for a little bit. Here's what happened. When Skylar left, I threw myself into work and now I'm just starting to hit a wall. <laughs> And I just want to take a step back and not worry about doing videos every single day. I always worry about doing videos every single day, so I shouldn't even utter those words. But I'm just going to try to be a little bit more relaxed about it, to not worry about having to put something out there that is funny or that is crafty or... You know what I mean? I just want to do whatever I can do. So this is my resting period. It's like the calm after the storm. So here's what I have done. I have changed my schedule somewhat. I just wanted to sit down and take a lot of time and think about it, but I didn't. And all of a sudden it was Monday and I wanted my new schedule. So I just knocked some things off it and added some things on it. And I'm just going to let you know what I plan on doing. I do hope to, after this, go and do another quilt block. I worry that those of you who are not into the quilting thing, I worry that you won't like having that much stuff about quilting on my channel. I hear the tipsters say repeatedly, stick to one thing. Have separate channels for separate things. I've tried separate channels and that didn't work for me at all. It is a lot of work to keep two, three, four channels running. I think I have 11 channels. <laughs> I really do. Most of them you guys don't even know about, but I do have that many and probably some that I've never even uploaded on. You know, I've tried that, especially like for the ASMR. Now I do agree that ASMR really needs a home of its own on its own special channel and I still would love to do ASMR videos, but I just don't want them on my main channel because it's such a different thing. My videos on my main channel, I feel like they're mainly me doing something. ASMR is completely for the listener. It's not about me. It's about the sounds and things like that. So it just feels like it's an alien creature when I do it on my own channel. The other reason I'm not doing it, I would upload to my other channel, but I do not have a binaural microphone and I absolutely insist on having that to create the kind of ASMR that I would listen to. It has to be something I would want or I'm not into doing it. So there are certain times where another channel makes sense, but for me, if it's something that's about me, I try to think of myself as the brand. It's my channel, Darlene Me Show, and, and to me it's like anything that I do or that I enjoy should just be on this channel, you know? I had a crafting channel and I didn't like it being separate. I want the peanut gallery all in one place and I just want my videos all in one place. So I'm going to do it all in one place and I just hope that those of you who don't like certain things would just skip over them and just know that something you like will come around. It doesn't mean that I'm doing just quilting videos now. It just means that there might be a lot of them, but there'll still be all the other stuff. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? I hope so. I think you do. Let me tell you some of the stuff that's going away. I have a little list of the going away things. Recipes on my blog. I have also things that on, on my blog here because my schedule is like what I do on my blog every day and then, you know, things, other things that I do. I'll tell you all that. I was posting recipes and I enjoy that even though it's not stuff that I would eat. It's fun to just look at recipes, but I wasn't getting views on those. So I think I'm just going to drop that because it takes time. And if I'm not going to get views on my blog, then why bother? Plus, you know, I don't need to be looking at the food. I just, it's just like the food is so out of my life that I just don't have any interest in it or even looking at it. It's not that it makes me crave it. It's just like ho-hum, you know, I just don't know. So recipes, I'm not going to be posting those on my blog. And that also means I'm not going to be doing the toaster oven series that I really wanted to do. That was fun while Skyla was here, but I realistically do not want to be doing videos on that. I certainly don't mind making my mother some little cakes and stuff in the toaster oven, but I don't see myself doing that often. And I certainly don't want to have to set up a camera and record that. Again, I'm not passionate about the food, so I'm just not passionate about that for a video. 
it would have been cool and there was a lot of people out there who wanted it so if you have a channel consider doing some toaster oven recipes because I think it would be popular a lot of people wanted me to do that but I just think I'm going to skip it for now tipster Tuesday is going bye bye I know those of you who like the tips really want the tips but I get no views on those videos and they take me as long if not longer to record because when I do stuff like this I can just talk and get it all out if I want to do a tip I have to actually study figure out what I want to tell you guys it is just a lot of um, planning and I don't like those kind of videos if they got a lot of views I would certainly learn to like those kind of videos but they're not getting views I was thinking of a way to put a spin on it but I think for now I'm just going to put that series to sleep and we'll rethink it later toilet paper roll crafts. I haven't done one in a long time. That means I wasn't into it. And probably you guys weren't either. It was silly. I just happened to have toilet paper rolls, so I felt compelled to do some of those. It was fun, but not doing it anymore. Craft concoctions. I wanted to do that, like different Play-Doh recipes, paint recipes, all that stuff. It, again, it's like, it just makes me sad because I don't have Skylar. So if I make something like that on my own, I just, I don't know. It's just not my thing. And it's not something that I'll play with or use. So it just seems like a waste. So I have so many other things that I want to be doing. Some of these things just have to go. because I would never have enough time for all these different video topics. So those are gone. Random facts, those are gone because I couldn't find a good site with reliable information. It was fun and I enjoyed doing it. And it's something that I would do, but again, something's got to go. So that one's off, too. That's pretty much all that I've knocked out. Um, so far, what I do on my blog every day, I still do a daily chat. So do go look at my blog daily at darlingmishow.com. It will let you know what I did the day before, what my plans are for the day. If I'm ever, like, not uploading for whatever reason, I post there and let you know, you know what, I'm sick or I'm just tired or I'm taking a break, whatever. You can know what's going on if you go to my blog. You can also go to my Facebook page. I don't mean my regular personal profile, but my Facebook page is Darlene Michaud's page. And I always have the link down below to my Facebook page. And you can like that page. And I always post there also when I have something to say. Like today I just posted the fabric haul that I did at Marden's. You guys want a sneak peek of what's coming up Friday and Friday and Friday. I think I have enough for three Fridays in a row. I have a picture on my Facebook page and on my profile too. A lot of people like me on, you know, my regular personal profile. And so I have a lot of friends that I don't even know, but I like them back, you know, unless it's a, a man in a military uniform. That's always a scam. <laughs> online deals on my blog. I still would like to post some online deals now and then. And uh, I'm still going to try posting the new coupons that come out, the printable coupons for those who still do couponing. I, I haven't been posting coupon deals, but I just put it out there in one of the coupon groups that if somebody knows how to run WordPress, so I might as well say it here too, if you know the in and outs of a WordPress blog and you know how to put together coupon deals, I would be happy to have somebody post on my blog, post deals for Shaw's, Walmart, Hannaford, whatever stores that we have around here. It's a commission position. If you are at all interested, you can email me at peanutgallery at darlingmishow.com. But you do have to know how to use WordPress. I don't have time to train anyone. And then on my blog, I try to update my sidebars twice a week. I also put now to leave feedback because I forget about leaving feedback on eBay and it builds up. So at least once a week I want to go in and leave feedback. Then I have my silly things like my mother's pills are on Saturday night and the trash goes out Tuesday night. I have to check my accounts and pay whatever and I do that once a week. And then every day I check my snail mail. I have it on there because I'm not good at going to the mailbox so I have to push myself to do that. So then um, as for videos... Things that I would like to do weekly, but there's no guarantee they will be every week. Upcycled fashions, tag along or a ride along. That's not too hard to do weekly because I usually do go out at least once a week. My shit series, I'd love to do that every week. That could be an every other weeker though. Open my mail if I have any peanut gallery mail. And I did get a package today. I haven't even looked at it. Uh, I'm going to try to do that. I'll have a fan mail Friday instead of a mailbag Monday. Doodle reloads. I have still probably, I don't know, 15 or so 
doodles on my old craft channel that I can bring over onto this channel. That's a good thing for me to do like when I just don't feel like recording. I still have work to do. I have to re-edit it, add different music, take pictures because I didn't know what I was doing when I was doing those two years ago. But at least it's a way that I don't have to be on camera or be talking or anything. Quilt blocks, of course, you're going to probably get multiple of those per week. And please don't think that means I'm letting go of other things. I'm not. And I might get tired of those, but as long as I feel like doing them, I'm going to do them. A scrap buster, I would like to just do some little crazy thing with scraps once a week. Or again, that one could be in every other weeker. And then, of course, Fabric Friday has become a popular thing. So I do plan on having fabric on eBay or... I'm going to try maybe possibly to set something up again on my site. I used to have a store on my site. I may look at Etsy for non-auction items, but eBay is my to-go place for auctions for sure. And I'm almost always guaranteed to sell out of everything that I put on eBay. Fabric Friday, though, is still a go, whether it's on eBay, Etsy, or on my blog, until you guys get sick of fabric. The things that I do have under every other week, earnings update, I do that twice a month, so that's just about every other week. Uh, comments, comments are a lot, a lot of editing, and I have to be in the right mood for comments, so probably every other week for that. I'd like to start doing Dollar Tree crafts. So it's like I would go to Dollar Tree and just pick a few things and show you what I can make with those things. Like maybe something like $5 or under or whatever. So I don't know. I was just thinking about that. Obviously, some auctions. I want to do at least auctions, not just my fabric listings, but actual auctions where people bid. Those are the fun things. I would like to do a tote bag every month. I did one and it sold for like 120 something dollars. I was psyched, but then Skyla was coming and I just didn't get around to it. So I would like to at least list maybe even once a week, but at least every other week, a tote bag and or I would like to go in my cellar and start looking at some of my old fabric. This is hard for me because I don't like to revisit my past at all, but maybe put together some little fabric grab bag things of different fabrics for crazy quilts because crazy quilts are not meant to be made with 100% cotton. That certainly can be in there, but you want a variety of fabric, and that's what makes the crazy quilt crazy. So we'll see if there's anybody out there who wants something like that, or just pieces that I can put together for people who like to make like maybe stuffed animals or dolls or things like that. I also have some panels in the cellar that I'd like to look at. I would wash all these things before selling them, and I have some craft patterns, so I really need to get down there and start selling some of that stuff just to get it out of the cellar. It would make me feel good at the end. I think, I think it would make me feel good. But a lot of times when I do something, I live with deep regret that I did it. I don't always feel good after doing something. Even if it's something nice, it's like, why, 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 why did I get rid of that? That's very hard. Hoarders suffer. <laughs> Monthly things. I do my paper beads once a month. And, um... I usually do a video announcing that. Hair, I should be doing something to my hair once a month, whether it's dyeing it one month and then trimming it or full head haircut or whatever, but hair is there. Uh, a giveaway. Let's talk about giveaways for a second. I would like to do a giveaway once a month, but my giveaways now would be different. I used to always think when I'd see others do giveaways, you know, it's like, be sure you're subscribed. And do you know that there's really not a good way to know if somebody is subscribed to your channel? You can't just do a search. You're pretty much trusting them. Even though the giveaway thing, like, takes you to subscribe, it doesn't guarantee that the person is actually subscribing. And if somebody is subscribed to a lot of channels or, or it's not made public, it's impossible for someone like me to make sure they're uh, subscribed. Even if somebody subscribes, they can subscribe to enter the giveaway and then just unsubscribe. You know, and to me, it's like, if you're going to do a giveaway, I always have it picked randomly, but I would like it to be picked randomly out of 
a group of people who actually care to be watching. You know what I mean? I don't like somebody just coming in and say, oh, okay, I'll enter this. And they've never watched one of my videos and maybe they never will. Christine from Simply Neological, she doesn't do random giveaways. She asks people to do something, write a letter or whatever, and she reads them and she picks either something that's funny or strikes her as nice or whatever. I don't want to get that deep into it because I don't like picking like that. I don't play favorites, but I thought I could do something in giveaways where maybe during my videos there's a little subliminal message or whatever to have you answer a question in the giveaway. I don't know. This is just all thoughts. But like if you enter the giveaway, there might be a question or two and you'll need to know the answer. And if you get the answer correct, well then if you are picked and you have the correct answer, you would be an eligible winner. And I think it would work somehow. There's an idea in there somewhere, but definitely if I'm doing giveaways, I want to make it that people are actually paying attention. I don't know. I might have some little tasks for you to do or give you incentives as to why you need to watch the video and if you want to win the giveaway. And it would just be all kinds of things, but I thought even sometimes little packets of fat quarters or something for fabric. If you don't like fabric, well, you just don't enter that giveaway. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And Skylar did have a giveaway winner. I know we never recorded again, but we did um, announce the winner under the video and also on Facebook. I contacted him. It was a boy, a 12-year-old boy, and I felt bad because the gifts were mostly girly, but you know, I told them maybe you have a mom or a sister or an aunt, somebody that you can give these things to. So he was just very happy to win. He was a very sweet little boy, and I was glad that he won it, even though it was girly things. I don't know. So, okay, so some of the things that Skylar did give, I might as well tell you, it was like a little cutting board with a knife, uh, a scarf, some balloons, so I'm sure the boy will like the balloons, and uh, some butterflies that you could like stick in something. Oh, what else? It was eight things. Uh, a notebook with a pen or something. That's the thing she said you could keep secrets in. Oh, I can't remember the other things. Oh, a bag of wooden beads. She picked all colors that kind of went together. An adult coloring book. You know what I mean. Not that kind of adult thing, but... <laughs> Some pens? No, I can't remember. But it was a nice bunch of stuff that she picked out, so I was glad. Okay, anyway, so now back to my schedule. Polls. I might do a poll every now and then still. I do have zero carb chat. I have that on for monthly, but I know I won't be doing it monthly. But I'm leaving it there just so I can remember that people do want to know. And I will have an update for you coming soon. That looks like that's about it. And then I still have like video ideas, like when I'm thinking, hmm, what could I do for a video? Still want to show you the necklaces my mother has made with paper beads. I can always do a review. I have a new vacuum thing that I want to do a review on. Tags and challenges. I don't know if I'm very much into that anymore, but it's on there. You guys have been wanting a camera set up. It's silly because it's so easy, but again, I would like to do that. Sling bag. Somebody asked for a sling bag, and I wanted to make one, and I haven't even thought about that for weeks, but it's here, and I'm seeing it. So things like that. And then quilt blocks, different ideas. I'm not doing just half square triangles. I started with that, but there's going to be all kinds of blocks. And then I'll revisit each series. Half square triangles. I want to do different things with four patches, more nine patches, crumb quilts. That is so intriguing. But boy, you got to be determined because you're using little scrappy pieces. But I love scrappy looking quilts and I hate to throw away a crumb. Crazy quilts. I want to still do more of that. Applique. We haven't played with that at all. More foundation piecing, more quilt as you go, more ragging, raw edge quilting. I have seen some things, but then I thought of something else that I haven't seen yet, so I might have made something up, and we're going to try it, other scrappy quilts, and to do things with strip sets. So this is what I have come up with so far, and the things that I eliminated. Hope it all sounds good to you. I'm excited. I am just going to, like I said, do what I can. I almost am thinking that it would be cool to have one day a week where I don't record and don't upload, but then I feel like, ugh, why would I want to do that? <laughs> you know? It's like 
forcing somebody to sit in a dark closet for a day. It's like, who wants to do that? You know, I may talk myself into a day off, and I know that some say, well, you could just record in advance, and then you'd have it, schedule it to come out. When you record pretty much daily, and sometimes two things daily, it's awfully hard to find the time or the motivation or the mentality to record yet something else for later. I'm just an uh, in-the-moment kind of person, and I very rarely schedule something out. I mean, very rarely, and I just don't like it. Half the time, if I record a video, if I don't put it out there, it'll never get there because I will change my mind about it. There's a lot of videos, and I think you guys know which ones I'm talking about that it's like oh my god oh my god I gotta hurry up and upload and publish and then I don't ever want to look at it again it's like oh my god did I really do that did I really say all those things and then I just ignore that it exists and I let it do its thing and make me money <laughs> Sadly, the things that I'm embarrassed by are the money makers. So I will still embarrass myself for the sake of the dollar and for your entertainment. Obviously, you guys wouldn't be watching it if it didn't entertain you in some way. So this is it for this video. And I hope that you like my plans and I will certainly be making changes to it. So now I'm going to change gears and go sew a quilt block. I'm excited. So that will be up later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.